Hello and welcome to your yoga practice. I'm Phoenix Wilson. In our 30 to 35 minute practice today, we're going to be doing an overall practice. However, it's going to primarily focus on standing poses, wide leg standing poses that help build stamina and strength in the legs. So by that I mean poses such as triangle pose, warrior two, exalted warrior. Um, so you might wanna find, if you have it at home, a yoga prop like a block. You may not have this sitting around in your house. So you could just put a chair at one end of your mat if you find that you'd like a little extra support. All right, so as I like to say, remember your body is really your best guide and teacher. So if we're doing anything that you're feeling uncertain about or that you feel discomfort, ease off a little bit, check your alignment. Remember, we can always make adjustments and it's okay to skip a pose any point along the way. All right, with all that being said, let's go ahead and find our space where we can just settle in to this moment and into our practice. As we do so, let's find that little greater link from the pit of the belly, upward through the chest, and finding that link again through the crown of the head. Either the eyes softly close, or we just let our gaze rest softly to the floor for a moment. Taking a few deep breaths, and all of the momentum that has brought us to this very moment in our day, and we just have a sense of letting all of that come to rest, just to a, a pause. We can always go back and revisit anything we need to through our day at a later point. Nice deep breath in, and nice deep breath out. Let's take one more inhale together. Another deep breath in and out. Letting the eyes open into our space that we're creating here together. Let's take a deep breath in and just stretch up through the arms, warming up a little bit in the shoulders and exhale, bring the hands down to touch to the floor. So as we start in our movement, let's breathe in, palms face to each other, fingertips touch overhead. And then exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, keep inhaling. If we can, keep inhaling, inhaling. And exhale. Breathing in all the way up. That last little bit of breath in and breath out. One more time, see if you can keep breathing in all the way back up till the fingertips touch. Exhale, letting go. Nice. A little movement upward through the shoulders and down the back. High lift through the shoulders, down our back. One more time, lift. Let's hold that, reach up. Exhale, let go. Good, one more time, lift through. Exhale, let go. Take our feet to touch in, butterfly pose. Just kind of rock side to side on the sit bones, waking up into the hips. Press the feet together, hold to our shins or ankles. Let's inhale and find that length again of the spine. Rather than rounding our spine here, let's create length of our spine as we hinge at our hip and begin to fold forward. Let's breathe in again, doing a little greater length through the spine. As you're comfortable here, stretch to one side. Lengthening through your torso across the room. And other side. Reaching again across from hip to heel, this link through the side of the body. And gently back to our center point. We'll come right back up all the way through. For a moment, take your legs out to the side, press through the heels of your feet and fold in, just warming up a little bit into the back of the legs. It's a little more dynamic in our movement. We're just rising as we breathe in. Exhale, folding forward. Breath in. Good, bring our legs out in front, a little movement in the ankles and wrists. Let's take one foot 
press it over the other, feeling that stretch in the top of the ankle. Other foot over. And then just move through the tiptoes, a nice glide forward. Deeper breath here. And soft rise back up. Okay, we'll move right easy to table pose. In table pose, we're gonna just have our hands resting under the shoulders and the knees, pretty much under the hips, beginning to move through our spine, back and forth, cat-cow. So on the exhale, emphasize rounding your spine to the sky. And as you breathe in, lifting your tailbone and collarbones to the sky. Good. Let's do three more of these. Cat cow, moving through the spine. In your time from here, as you come back into table, stretch back briefly to child's pose, lengthening through your hip towards your heel. And we'll actually stretch our arms forward, reaching through the fingertips, lengthening through the side of our body. Now let's take three deep breaths, again, just simply here. Come right back up into table, and from our table, we'll curl the toes into the mat and stretch through to downward facing dog. A gentle walk out of our legs, bend one knee, let our other heel lengthen to the floor, and stretch your hips high to the sky. Let's take a breath in for three, two, one, exhale, find your way to plank. Again, breathing in for three, two, one. We'll lower into the mat, all the way steady to the floor. Hands at our side, lift through your chest, open the heart wide to cobra. And fold to the mat. Lifting the heart to the sky, up into cobra. Exhale, folding, curl the toes in, just your hands and toes touch, pressing upward dog and leaning back, downward dog. From downward dog, go ahead and just take one leg up to the sky, opening that hip, pressing your bottom heel to the floor. Release, reverse. Take your other leg through to the sky, hug the heel to the hip, back into the mat. Just for ease, let's go ahead and bring our knees to the floor. And then step, say, your right foot forward. It really could be either one you like. I'm going to bring my right foot forward. And lift up into a nice lunge. So I have my forward knee bent. I'm gradually rolling back through this hip, extending into my hamstring. Starting to wake up into the muscles of the back of the leg. Bend this forward knee, take a nice inhale, feel light with your hands on the floor, hover with your hands up, and again, if you wanted a chair, you could bring a chair onto your mat, and then take a breath in from here and lift up, we're rising to warrior one. So think in warrior one, but right now you have your forward knee bent and your back leg is lifting up away from the floor. Arms rising to the sky, and let's take a deeper inhale and exhale. As you hinge forward, reach energy out through the fingertips, lengthen through the side of the body, hands to the mat, and come through top of the mat, forward fold. Have a little gentle sway left and right. Head folding in towards the floor. We're gonna breathe in, rise up to the sky, lift through our heart, take a deep breath in, heart to the sky, Exhale and soft fold in. Reverse. So now I'm taking my right foot back. I have the opposite foot forward in my lunge. And rolling back through this forward hip, lengthening deeper into this hamstring. Bending the knee. You can do that several times also, just kind of gradually warming up into this hamstring and calf. As we bend the knee again, we're going to be light with our hands lifting up off the floor, and then in breath again, rising 
to our warrior one pose. Think of your forward knee bending, but your back thigh is lifting up away from the floor, and then you're gonna hug the inner legs in and up. Your back heel can press to the floor. I like to keep the hips squared forward like two headlights of a car, rather than spinning the heel to the floor and the hip open. It's uh, your preference. So the way I learned is the hips forward, and we're gonna take a breath in, Reach again, arms to the sky. Let's take a breath in for three, two, one. Hinge forward through the arms. Bring our hands back to the mat. We're gonna reach back again to our downward facing dog. Let's take another inhale, nice exhale. Maybe walk out the legs a little bit. Pressing one heel towards the floor and then the other as the opposite knee bends. And then exhale from here, settle easily just right back to your child's pose and gently pause and rest. Take one more breath in. Easy exhale. And then coming right up into table, we're just going to walk our hands backwards, fold through to a forward fold again. If we're feeling really tight, bend the knees. Let's give a sway again, side to side, hinging at the hip. And then we'll rise gently all the way back up to standing. Okay, so we've uh, come all the way up to standing here. We're gonna come to face one another center of our mat or whatever space we are creating. And again, if you want to, you could have a yoga block or a chair to your side. It doesn't matter which side you want to lead with. First, we're just going to be alternating between left and right. So remember, or just check in with your stance, let your stance be roughly about the length of one of your legs that far apart between the two feet. Another way I could say that is if you had your hands out to your side and you had a thread hanging off your wrist, it would touch roughly into your ankles. So uh, with a wide leg stance, let's take a deep breath in. We're gonna reach out through our leading foot. I'm leading here with my left foot, but either one is fine for you. Take the thigh and knee and press that thigh back while our chest still, however, faces one another, arms stretch through. We're coming right to warrior two. We bend this forward knee while we keep this back thigh lifted away from the floor. Stretch out long through the arms. Let's take a deep breath in and out. We'll gaze over our leading hand, leading side. And we're just gonna start to warm up again here in the hip. We'll breathe in, lift up. A little bit more dynamic, exhale, fold in, in breath, rise. Easy exhale, one more time rising, and then let's stay, warrior three. Take a breath in, take your leading arm, and lift it up over the ear, exalted warrior. So we're expanding through our rib cage. And we're gonna move again through these poses. We're gonna stay on the side and come through extended side angle pose. And then we're gonna fold into this forward leg, sinking deeper into this hip. As it's comfortable breathing, keep that leg steady, exalted warrior. Good, exhale again, extended side angle pose. Inhale, rise, exalted warrior. Exhale, extended side angle pose. So we're gonna pause here and breathe for three, two, one, come right back up. Good. All right, so go ahead, let's reverse the spin of our feet. So now, I'm leading with my opposite foot. I have the heel, it would roughly line up into the arch of my back foot. So the foot will sweep straight back into that back heel. Bend the knee, take the thigh and the knee, kind of roll them back. Sometimes in our standing poses, we 
let this knee knock in, and it's not a very good alignment for the knee. So knee and thigh, press back to the wall behind you, reach through the arms, and let's gaze over our leading hand side, our leading leg side. Again, let's breathe in for three, two, one. And we're just gonna lift up through the arms, lift up out of the leg, exhale, fold. Rising, exhale, fold. Last time, rising, exhale, gently fold. Take our leading arm, and we're gonna lift up exalted warrior, sometimes called reverse warrior. Expanding wide through the rib cage. Exhale, extend side ankle pose. I'm using this arm to kind of draw the flesh of this thigh back. Inhale again, lift, exalted warrior. And exhale, come back easy again, extend side angle. Let's pause here in our extended side angle pose. If you wanted, you could have a chair here to support into. And if you feel like you want to challenge this a little bit more, you could fold to that block or to the floor, deepening into this hip. Let's take another breath in, pressing again all the way back up and face forward. All right, lovely, wonderfully done. Let's continue now in wide leg standing poses into triangle pose. We're going to lean back on that initial side we started with. Hug the muscles in and up. So we're really engaging the muscles of the legs. We call that in yoga muscular energy. And we want to imagine like you had a beach ball here between the inner legs, and you're going to hug that beach ball in and up. Take a nice breath in, and we're going to fold down to our lengthened leg to triangle pose. Now again, I could have a chair here and elevate this a little bit more and support with the chair. I could rest my hand if I wanted into my block beside me. Whatever feels like it's comfortable for you here. Let's take another breath or so. Feel that your chest is rising to the sky. Take a nice inhale and as you're ready, we'll rise up. If you're using your prop, you wanna turn or position the prop to the other side. Reverse triangle pose to the side. So again, I'm mindful that my heel is lining up into the arch of my back foot. Torso is facing forward. Arms really extend nice and long. We have muscular energy again, hugging the muscles in and up, kneecaps drawing in and up. And then on my exhale, soft and easy, begin to fold to your forward leg. Now in triangle pose, sometimes we do some interesting things. One of them being we try to touch into our foot but our chest starts to lean forward. It's not so helpful. Uh, we're really wanting to keep the chest open. So if that means we have to touch way up on the thigh or to a chair, that's much better than reaching to the floor and leaning the chest forward. Let's breathe in for three, two, one. Just another nice deep breath. Feel as though your chest is pressing back to the wall behind you, as well as your hip. Everything's flush to that back wall. Wonderful, let's take a breath in together, come right back up and all the way in. Let's step the feet back together. We're pausing here, just steady to mountain pose. So you may notice a little bit of uh, strength or building muscle quality of engaging through the muscles of the legs when we engage what we call muscular energy. We can do that even while standing in mountain pose. Gently, we're just hugging in and up, creating this sense of lift upward through the chest, top of the head to the sky. Take a breath in and breath out. Another breath in, another breath out. Let's take either leg just for a moment. One balancing pose here. We're gonna lift our leg through, bring our foot to the side and balance to tree pose. So we could have the hands to the heart. If we wanted to use a prop, again, we could have the chair beside us or a wall, and then the arms reaching to the sky. The hands can either lace in together, the palms could press to the sky, and they can just be the wild branches of the tree. And as you're ready, just letting the hands soften back and take our leg 
reach forward and back down. Good. Feel both feet settled to the floor. Shift the weight again over, bring the leg out to the side, and it could be low, it can be midway, but preferably not putting the foot pressure on the knee itself. So high or low, whatever works on this side. Heart is lifting gently to the sky. Hands can stay at the heart or as you like, reaching the arms towards the sky. The tree is falling over. So when you're ready, take your leg and stretch it through forward and down. We'll take a breath again, just feeling both feet solid to the mat. Inhale, lifting up, arms to the sky. Exhale, soft fold at the hip. We fold all the way in. Let the back of the neck be long, feeling the weight of the head heavy to the floor. When you're ready, just easy, come right back to a seat comfortably to the floor and we're returning back to butterfly pose. Soles of our feet touching, lifting through our chest and gently folding forward. Come right back up nice and tall. Long spine, deep inhale. Just stretch one leg out, the other foot will stay in. Turn your whole torso to your extended leg and gentle fold forward. Come right back up. Let's do one twist here. So our foot's either inside edge of the leg, if it's comfortable, Bring your foot to the outer edge of your leg. Let's bring our elbow around the knee, lift through the spine, long lift through the uh, chest and turning twist to the outer edge of your thigh. You could even bring the elbow to the outer edge of the leg to deepen the twist a little bit. Relax and align this. Take your leg forward, bring your other foot in. Whole torso facing to your extended leg. Gentle forward fold. Breath in as you lift back up. Foot inside is fine. If it's comfortable, bring it to the outer edge of your leg. Lace your hands around your knee for a moment to lift even taller through your chest. Bring the elbow around the knee, lift through your arm, and make a twist to your side. And exhale again. Unwind your twist. Take your leg, reach it forward. Let's move a little bit in the wrist and ankles, even through the tiptoes and fingertips. From here, go ahead and find a comfortable space, just resting your back to the floor as we start to wind down our practice. So we're gonna start on our back, just letting the knees bend and the feet are out to the width of the mat. From there, stretch your arms back alongside your ears and have this movement of the legs sweeping side to side, what we call windshield wiper motion. You pause to one side if you like. Other side again. And back to center. Stretch your legs along to the floor. Reach out through your fingertips and toes. Exhale, let go. Reach long through fingertips and toes. Exhale and soften. Bend your knees so your feet again are flat to the floor. 
take, we'll say the left leg all the way over the right. There's no gap between the legs. And then let your legs fold down to your right. So I have my left leg on top. And so that means I'm gonna let my legs fold to the right in a twist. We'll come right back again up to our center point. Bring the right leg over let the hips go a little bit to the right and then let the legs fold heavy to your left side if your right leg is on top. Let's come right back up again, uncross the legs, the hips back to center, bring both knees to the chest, hug in just gently and away, hug the knees in gently, and away. One more time. Come to a pose that we call happy baby pose. Soles of our feet towards the sky. We can hold to the shins or ankles or the feet. And a little rock on the back, left and right. Pause here. From here, bring your left ankle to your right thigh. Hug the right leg in. We could place the hands in to our right hamstring or shin bone. And then relax. Reverse the ankle to the thigh. Sometimes we call this figure four because it almost looks like the shape of a figure four on our back, I mean with the legs. Take the hands to the shin bone or hamstring, hug your left leg in. And then again, easy exhale, let go. Hold one hand to each knee, circle the knees in together, out and away. Knees in together, out and away, both directions. Stretch both legs now, just easy to the floor. Come to a comfortable pause, just resting your back easy to the ground. The weight of the head heavy to the floor. Let the eyelids relax, the jaw is soft. If you like, let the eyelids for a moment just draw heavy. A sense of relaxation extending from the inner to outer corners of the eyelids. And the forehead is relaxed. The skin of the forehead broadening wide over the skull. Take three more nice, long, deep breaths in and out through the nose. In your time, a little movement through fingers and toes, circling wrists and ankles, bringing your knees gently into your chest, a little rock on the back side to side. And circle again, the knees to the ceiling. And then we're just gonna hug in, roll all the way over to one side. Pause here. Use your hands and arms to press you all the way back up into a nice, tall, upright seat. Maybe find that quality of openness and lift of the heart to the sky, crown of the head towards the sky. May we keep that awareness of that full open posture as we move back into all of the activities of our week. 
I wish you good health, well-being, and peace of mind. And I'm grateful we could join together in this space for this yoga practice. I look forward to being back again with you soon. Till then, take good care.